All right, so looking into some of your homework problems tonight on problem number one. Okay, I'm going to start by getting y by itself. So I'm going to move my 3x and then divide by negative 6. And remember, when you divide by a negative, you have to flip your sign. So it's going to be less than negative 1 half x minus 3. So I'm going to start down here at minus 3 and then go down 1 and write 2. Okay, and that is going to give me a dotted line through there. Okay, and then that is going to be less than, so I'm going to shade below. All right, number two, you're simply going to distribute here. That's going to give me negative 10x squared and positive 20x. And then I've got the 3x in front. So when I combine like terms, that's going to give me negative 10x squared plus 23x. All right, the next couple are the ones we did today in class. Remember, you're going to break this apart, so it's actually going to be 0 0.75 to the 1 fourth power. So we're going to have to type that in our calculator. And that gives me 0.93. Okay, so we're going to subtract one from that, which is going to give me negative 0.07. Okay, which if I move it two places is 7% and that is decay. All right, next 5 through 10 are our factoring problems. So I'm going to start by what is the biggest number? We're going to 5, 25, and 30, and that's going to be 5. And then our lowest x is just 5x. So 5x is our GCF, and then we divide. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 3 minus 1 gives me x squared. 25 divided by 5 is 5. Our x2 minus x1 gives me x. And 30 divided by 5 is 6, and our x's cancel. All right, on number 8, jump in here and give me 12, 24, and 30. Okay, our GCF is going to be 6 and m squared. So that goes out front. And then we have 2m squared minus 4m plus 5 left. And then the last two are your perimeter problems. We did one kind of in a hurry at the end of class today, so I want to make sure I did one of these today. Okay, remember these two straight lines right here? You can count those. Okay, so it starts here. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 here. Okay, and then this one's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. So now we're going to do the distance formula from here to here. So this is the point negative 2, 2, and this is the point 4, 4. So I'm going to do the distance formula with that. Negative 2 minus 4 squared plus 2 minus 4 squared. Okay, so that's the square root of 40 or approximately... 6.3. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing over here. This is going to be negative 2, negative 3. And this is going to be 4, 6. So 4, negative 6. So distance formula there is going to be negative 2 minus 4 squared plus negative 3 minus negative 6 squared. So that's going to give me negative 6 and 3, which gives me 36 plus 9, or 45. And the square root of 45 is approximately 6.7. So now we're just going to add up 5 plus 10 plus 6.3 plus 6.7. And that's going to give me 15, and 13 is 28. So on the triangle, you only have to do the distance formula once, or you can do Pythagorean theorem. Don't forget to find that missing side. Okay, your uh, weekly homework one video probably won't be up until tomorrow, but I will get that video posted uh, tomorrow on one of each of those.